that I need. You, 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 you. You the one made for me, yeah. You, you. Treat you like royalty, baby. That's for your loyalty, baby. Yeah. My only priority, baby. Thanks for supporting me, baby. This is the stock card right here for it. And this is the wig Miriam in 1B Berg. And this guy, you guys, this is different. Like, this is so different for me because I never wear colored hair. Or this is my first time wearing burgundy hair. And the reason why I got this is because I wanted to bleach some virgin hair and color it burgundy. So that's why I was like, you know what, let me see what burgundy looks like on my skin tone. And this burgundy is definitely not the burgundy that I want to wear. <laughs> like, I just think that, I don't know if it looks good on me. Like, I don't know how it's supposed to look, you know? So, but yeah, this is it right here. This is my burgundy hair. And again, this is this Marium and 1B Burg. And this wig also comes in TT 1B 27, 30. And it also comes in like 99 J with the burgundy and um, an ombre effect blonde ombre so i just want to tell you guys that you can wear this hair in the center left or right part and this is a four by four six silk based lace closure and if you guys aren't familiar with how those look on synthetic wigs then you can go and check out my trixie wig because that was a four by four silk based closure and that's the wig that got like 100k views on my channel or yeah on my channel yeah so make sure you guys go ahead and check that out I'll leave it in the description box again that wig is sold completely like out the one that I had so um yeah so the features on this is a natural look and comfortable fit it's unlimited parting options stocking cap quality full hand tight large parting area so this wig does come from ear to ear and then the 4x4 um lace closure which is basically like a virgin hair wig closure and um for the texture of this hair um i feel like it's a little bit rougher than most synthetic wigs it's not it's like it's soft but it's rough like i've had better like or softer synthetic wigs that's all i'm saying and i also feel like this isn't burgundy i feel like this is red oh it's nice you sex me but yeah i feel like this is red like you know I think that is red you guys um and i'm not a fan of red hair at all so i um i just want to try this out so you guys can see how this wig looks in a color burgundy and how it looks on me because i know a lot of people buy their synthetic wigs from because of, off of my opinion but like from this wig and how like how i put this wig on and how i styled it and stuff like that i don't i think it would be cute in a jet black I mean, I'm not saying that it's not cute. It's just different for me. Like, I never wear red hair. So, I wanted to show you guys how it looks on dark skin. Because, you know, dark skin girls feel like they can't pull off colors and stuff like that. But, this is one color like, I don't think I can pull off. You guys, tell me what you think. Just tell me in the comment box how you think this looks on my skin tone. Or if I'm over-exaggerating. Like, because I probably am. I'm probably doing the most. <laughs> But yeah, um, for tangling and shedding, I want to get the brush. This is the brush that I use right here and take all the hair out. And this is all the shedding that I got from it. Really not that much. And um, tangling is getting a little bit tangly, but it's not like awful. Like it's, it's, it snags, not tangles, it snags like towards the end of the hair. Because I told you guys that this hair is a little bit more rough. It's a little bit more rough than most synthetic wigs. Like, I've had better quality wigs. This is by the brand Sensational. And I've had better Sensational wigs as well. This wig can be um, put on to heat up to 350 to 400 degrees or between 350 and 400 degrees. And this is Futura Fibers. And I'm not sure what Futura Fibers... Hold on. This is a wig that you would have to put like working to um because i did part it in a different way that it came it came in the middle part so i just shifted it to the side to the right side of my head and put out some of my natural hair and that's just how i did it so tell me what you guys think about Mariam. and i looked at this wig on other people but 
I, and I thought it looked really good on them, but I don't think that it looks good on me. I don't know. I don't know. This is her. This is what she looks like. <laughs> or how she comes. Hope you guys can see it. I feel like it looks different on me. <laughs> like all my synthetic ways look different on me. Everybody tells me it always looks different. So, yeah. And I didn't show you guys um, how I styled it because... I literally took it out of the pack and put it on and took out my baby hairs and shifted it to like I didn't do that much and I, I think that people think that I manipulate the hair so much but I don't manipulate my synthetic wigs like it's the simplest thing like put the wig on put the combs in shift it to the side so you can have your side part take your natural hair out in the front baby hairs and boom like that's not that much at all like I never like do anything extra to my wigs like I haven't cut this wig this is the natural length and yeah so again make sure you guys tell me what you think about this wig this wig will be on sale probably by the time this video goes it'll probably already be up on there make sure you look at the description box so you can see all the specs on this hair and yeah so make sure you guys like comment and subscribe give me a thumbs up if there are any other synthetic wigs that you guys want me to try then i would just comment those down below as well also tell me what you think on this wig and follow me on my social media and i guess i'll see you guys in the next synthetic wig review bye